Unbelievable. I could just spit. Oh, honey, come on. Spending half the day trying to find a doctor to deliver your half-brother is my idea of having a good time. Well, I promised Mama. Let me help. Come on, I call up every administrative office there is on St. Agnes in Chicago, all right? And, uh, you know, if it takes all day, I'll get the... You know, it doesn't matter, because I was just talking to the man who heads up patient information. Yeah? And, and all the old records were burned in a fire years ago. Oh, you got it. I mean, damn it, Buzz, why can't I get a break? Give your darling finger a rest. Let me work the Cooper charm. Do you know how much I appreciate this? Well, isn't that what married people are supposed to do? Isn't it for better or for worse? Oh, my precious boy. It looks like we're not going to be staying here as long as Mummy thought. Oh, darling. Oh, there's the bellboy. Here's the bellboy to pick up the bags. I'll be right back. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not quite ready yet for you. Oh. It's okay, Jenna, I know. Uh, pardon me? What? What do you know? I know about your secret. Matt, <laughs> I'm very busy, actually. I'm quite late. I, I, I thought you were the bellboy to pick up the bags. You leave in Springfield? Yes, yes. A uh, matter of minutes, yes. Well, I need to talk to you about something first. Oh, as I say, I'm very, very sorry. It's not a good Look, time. Look, I thought about it, and there's no way I can let you leave without talking to you about this. I know that's the last time you left Springfield, you were pregnant with Buzz Cooper's baby. And I know you never told him. Yes. Sweetheart, it's all right. Mommy's right here. You're the boy that you are. Oh, you are special. Hey there. You must be little Henry. Did you know you were named after Vanessa's daddy? Huh? Because your mommy loved him so much? What a cutie. Yes, I loved him very much. But I think Henry's a very grown-up name for him at the moment, so I've nicknamed him Coop. I think it suits him, don't you? Coop. Coop is short for his middle name, Cooper. Coop, this is Matt. Hi. <laughs> Sweetheart, you play a little bit longer, and Mommy will come and join you in just a minute. He's uh, only two, but he, he picks up on everything. I got something for you. Oh, what is it? It's a letter from Vanessa. She uh, wrote it, I guess, a couple of weeks before the, the accident. It came back, returned to sender. Ah, uh, yes, I'm not surprised. I have not been anywhere near a post box. In fact, I didn't know about Vanessa until Coop and I arrived back here. It looks like it's been opened. I wonder who would have opened yeah, it. Yeah, I, I did. I, I opened it. I'm sorry. It wasn't mine to open, but I, I, I couldn't help it. Uh, a couple of weeks after the funeral, I, I went out to the mailbox, and uh, and there it was, staring me in the face, Vanessa's handwriting. I, um... Uh, that must have been quite a, quite a shock for you. Kind of threw me for a loop. It's like a part of Vanessa had come back to me. So I opened it to try to figure out what was going on in her mind the week that everything happened. So, uh, what, uh, what does it say? Uh, it's, it's not mine. It's, it's, oh, but it's since true. you have already read it, uh, please, no, I, I, I don't want it. Uh, perhaps you could read it for me. <clears throat> Dear Jenna, I don't know if you'll ever receive this letter, but it's the last address I have for you. So I'm hoping it's where you and baby Henry still are. I keep remembering your wonderful phone call the Christmas day Henry was born. You'll never know how much it means to me that you named your son for my father. Daddy would have been very proud. Recently, I found myself thinking more and more about you and how you felt when you left Springfield for what I truly hope won't be forever. I know at the time you felt you couldn't tell Buzz you were carrying his child. Because you didn't want to come between him and Nadine. You said you couldn't fight their kind of love and you respected it too much to try. 
Nadine is gone now, and I believe in my heart of hearts that Buzz would be thrilled to learn that he has a son. I know what I it know means what to keep, a father, to from keep a father from his child. There was, a time... there was a time when I would have done anything to keep Peter's paternity a secret from heart. I was too afraid of what the truth would do to my family, the kind of pain it would cause. But I learned that the real pain comes from keeping a secret like that. Now that the truth is finally out, I can honestly say all of our lives have been much happier for it. Jenna, I wish you could see Hart and Peter together. Theirs is a very special relationship, the kind only a father and son can share. I truly believe your baby has a right to know who his father is. He's a child who was born of love. A great love that you a and Buzz share. Love you and Buzz, share. Buzz Cooper has a right to be a part Buzz of his son's Cooper life. Has a right to be I trust that deep inside you know what you must do, the real truth. And when the time is right, your heart will lead you to it. Love always, Vanessa. Jenna, you gotta tell Buzz about the baby. If you don't, you'll be making the biggest mistake of your life. Oh, thank you, Ms. Zacchaeus. I, I, no, I appreciate that. I did, uh, no, I'll be waiting right by the phone. Right. F. Caristo, Yasu. <laughs> Of Caristo. I mean, that, that means, like, thank you. Oh, we really? got lucky. Her family's from Athens. Oh, this is great. Thank you. Thank you. You don't oh, know no, stop to me. Thank you, me. You don't, we get, you don't even want to thank me for it. I, I don't have good news. It's not bad news, but I just... She's, uh, she's the head of human resources at uh, St. Agnes, and uh, it's been in 30 years, so she knows everybody's been in and out. Everybody's retired. Well, that could be a really big help, right? So what do we do? Well, she's going to make some calls. Tell us what happens. Helping me through another crisis. My job, I think it's in the marriage contract, dear. Well, not always. I've been married enough to know. I don't want to hear about your marriage. Dylan, you're not going so soon, are you? Oh, yeah, I gotta go. It's really good to see you, Mom, but I... Time to move on, huh? Well, will you at least share a cup of coffee with me before you go? I'd love to. Okay. Hey, look, you guys, spend some time alone. I got, I got an errand to do. Thanks. Okay, I really gotta go. Um, we'll see you, Buzz. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> All right. He's a pretty good guy, old Buzz, huh? Oh, Buzz, he's, uh, he's great. Yeah. So what's the problem? If there's something about Buzz that you know that I don't know, I mean, come on, can you honestly tell me that he and his devoted wife would be pleased to find out that he has another child? You never know how people are going to react to things. No, you never do. But what do you mean by all this? I just mean that you don't know everything there is to know about Reva and the situation. Oh. Could it be that their marriage is not as blissful as it appears to be? You, of all people, should know things are never as they appear to be, Jenna. Very cryptic, very cryptic. Sweetheart. Look, all I'm saying oh. is you and Buzz had something special. Nessa said it was quite a love story. Yes, a once in a lifetime. I know what you mean. My little one, you could probably use a change, couldn't you? Come on, then. Change them before we catch our flight. Matt, I really am in a hurry. Besides all the rest of this, could you please put his toys away for me? Sure. I'll get it. I wasn't expecting to see you. I, um, I, do you and Jenna know each other? Well, we just, we sort of just met. Uh, Jenna and Vanessa were really good friends, and I, I guess you know that. Right, yeah, they were, they were thick as thieves. I, uh, I, I have to talk to her for a minute. I, um, you know, um, oh, we've got some unfinished... Rousey, is that right? You tired? 
tired. No, no. Why, why, why would you ask well, me if I'm you, tired? You said you had the drowsies. That's what you usually say when you're... What kind of greeting is this? Oh. Jenna, can I use the phone? I need to make a oh, personal yes, yes. call. Of course you could. Oh, Please, could. make yourself at home. Thank you. Thank you. You left so quickly from the diner, I didn't get a chance to ask you what you wanted to talk about. Father, how on earth did you find me? How did I find you? I'm Jenna Bradshaw. It's got to be the best hotel room in town, doesn't it? I mean, this is where you always came and got in a fight with me and left the firehouse. Wasn't it? Yes. Mm. Have I mentioned how good you're looking these days? You look gorgeous yourself, Petula. I thought we'd gotten over the small talk hurdle. Oh, I suppose I shouldn't mention what lovely weather we're having. What's the deal? You come to the diner, you tell me there's something important you want to talk about, and now you're not going to spill the beans. Come on, Bradshaw. It's not going to fly. I'm not budging until you tell me what it is. Listen. You suddenly stop by my place and you leave. It has me puzzled. I'm worried about you. Worried about me? What on earth for? You drop in out of nowhere. You say you have something important to say. And then you disappear. And you got that look. What look? The look you get when you have something serious to say. You got it right now. What look? The one with the line. The line between your eyes. Yeah, well, I call it my buzz line. At least I used to. Are you going to tell me what it is? Obviously, I made too much of a, a deal out of something very simple. I had a business meeting to go to, and I was running very late. And oh, what I meant to say to you before I ran out was that it's... It's very good to see you again, and the next time I'm in town, uh, dinner's on me at the Towers, and I expect to see you and Reva with bells on. And uh, she's, she's, she's stunning. She's stunning. I, I really, I, I have to fly. You've got to catch a plane. I'll see you next time. I'd like that, yes. Sleeping like a champ. Buzz would like that. Coop. Well, I can't tell him. And it wouldn't make any difference. It wouldn't work. Come on, Jenna. You don't believe that any more than I do. Hi. Uh, Annie came to pick up Mara and Shane. She's taking him back to their place. What, is Josh back? He yeah, called. he called. He's not coming back tonight. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hi, hello? Oh, Mrs. Dawkins. Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, thank you. I, I, just a second. Just one, one, one. Okay. All right, go. Okay. Uh, thank you. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Thank you. What? Oh, what? You, uh, sometimes you do get a lucky break. You know that guy? That old friend of your mom's you were looking for? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's at the Shady Lane Rest Home in Chicago. Uh, Annie, um, uh, you'll have to excuse us. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't call. say another word. Um, I'll meet the kids at the bus stop. Okay. No problem, and I'll drive them home if that's okay. Thanks. Great, hey, thank you. Great, um, thank you. well, have fun with your 
Mother's old Thank friend. Thank you. And just be sure to tell uh, Mara and Shane that I'll call them later. Thank you so Will much. Do. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, Mama. Oh, pretty soon, pretty soon, I'm going to meet that brother I never knew I had. Oh, <laughs> Thanks. I missed my flight anyway. Good. That'll give you a chance to tell Buzz about his son. Matt, we've been over and over and over this, and I'm going to say for the last time, I'm not going to be responsible for hurting Buzz. If Buzz gets hurt, it's not necessarily your fault. Now, there you go again, being very cryptic. If you know something about Buzz and Reva's relationship that you're not telling me, then by all means, spill it. Tell me. I didn't, I didn't say that. No, you didn't, and you're not saying it. And I can see he's as happy as I've ever seen him. He's obviously very much in love with this woman. I don't... Oh. Goodbye, isn't it, Coop? Bye, Coop. Bye. That's right. You know, when, whenever Vanessa and I had troubles, it was always because I was keeping something from her. It doesn't matter how large or small the secret is. Uh, when the truth comes out, and it usually does, there's... Well, you know what I'm trying to say. I think this is good advice, Jenna. Maybe you should take it. Bye, Coop. Bye, buddy. Bye, Jenna.